In this video, uh, I am going to explain how we can provision a Kubernetes cluster by using Ansible. So we can implement this either in on-premise or else we can use any cloud servers also. Both, both will work for us. Okay. So first, uh, I am going to spin up uh, four virtual machines, uh, one separately for Ansible, uh, three for my Kubernetes. So one I will consider as my master and two virtual machine for work. Okay. So this will be master and these two will be slave. So if you have any wish, if you want to create three master and if you want to create seven worker nodes, we can do that. We can still modify and manipulate that. But as of now, for the sake of simplicity, I will create only one master and two worker nodes. So for the sake of purpose, I'm going to use AWS. Uh, so let me create four virtual machines right now. So once you create the virtual machines, so next step we have to authenticate between the Ansible server and Ubuntu server. Okay, because we have to execute the command from Ansible and the command should be executed in these Ubuntu virtual machines. Okay, so we need to authenticate. Uh, so what I will do, I will use SSH key authentication over here instead of using password authentication. So now let me show you how we can create a SSH key and how we can authenticate from Ansible server to my Ubuntu server. So first step, we have to connect all the virtual machines. Uh, let me close this console. Okay, now uh, click on VM Ansible. Uh, let's click on connect. Now you can see I have connected all the virtual machines. Uh, you can see including master, my Ansible node, uh, my two workers, everything we can see here, right? So first I will go to my master, uh, I will generate a SSH key. So first I have to become a root user. I'll use the root privilege right now, but whenever you are implementing this is in real time, so you can use it uh, a separate user isolated for the security purpose. Okay, so let me become root user. So I'll just execute Sorosu command, then I will create a SSH key. So we can use SSH hyphen key gen to generate a new key pair. So enter, enter, enter. That's it. So now we successfully created a key pair. So here you can see the key pair location root dot SSH ID RSA. Okay. So next we have to copy this public key from this Ansible server. Then we will paste all these worker nodes, master and two worker. Okay. So let's copy the key. To copy the key, you have to go to cat uh, slash you can go to root then dot SSH ID RSA dot pub so copy this pub key so first we have to go to any of the virtual machine i will go to master node i'll become a root user okay so now i'm a root user so you can use echo so this is the public key and i want to send this key to slash root dot ssh or raised key Okay, I want to send to this particular path. Done. Let me copy this. Go to my worker node one. Let, let me become root user and paste. Let me execute the same command over here. Yeah. So now this is successfully completed. Now we have to install Ansible on Ansible server. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, this is the command to install Ansible. First, we have to update our Ubuntu server. Uh, then we can apt install software properties common. Uh, then we will add a repository, Ansible repository. Finally, we will install our Ansible. Okay, now we successfully installed Ansible. So now we can check the version of Ansible by executing Ansible minus minus version. And this is going to print Ansible version 2.16.5. Okay, cool. Now uh, we will try to authenticate from Ansible server to our worker nodes. Okay, so let's go to CD slash etc Ansible. Okay, so under this directory, you can see Ansible configuration as well as Ansible host. Okay, so we need to add our host, which means uh, how many master nodes you have, how many worker nodes you have, 
so let me go ahead and add that okay so let's open this host file okay so you can uh, come down a little bit okay now you can copy this script okay this is not a script this is just a configuration you can just uh, copy this configuration you can paste over there okay i'll add you this is in my description you can take it from there if you want okay i have added so first you can see that micro kit is ha so this is a group under this group i added my uh, micro kit is controller which means my master node ip address so you have to replace this ip address with your master ip address so now let me go to my virtual machine so this is my vm master uh, let's keep either public or private since all my virtual machine in same virtual private cloud i will use the private ip address so this is fair enough right now okay so i added the ip next micro kit is worker node 1 and worker node 2 uh, let's copy the worker node 1 ip and copy the worker node 2 ip then now ansible ssh user fabric so which user you are going to authenticate i'm going to authenticate root user in ubuntu server or my master worker uh, one or worker two right so you can specify root only uh, as per our configuration okay you can change the user as per uh, your requirement you can keep a separate user for security isolation next uh, you have to specify the private key of your ansible server so you created two key one public key one private key public key already copied to all the master and worker nodes now you have a private key so private key we have to specify uh, what what would be the name you created that you have to specify over here okay so this is basically id rsa let me specify id rsa uh, that's it and if you want to specify the version of kubernetes cluster you can specify 1.29 so this is the latest version uh, we have ever uh, i'll use 1.29 stable so control o enter control x so now we successfully connected all virtual machine together so now we can check whether ansible is able to access our worker nodes uh, to check that you can use ansible then all which, which means all virtual machines or all host okay then minus m for module then ping so this will give you the response you can see that a uh, micro kit is node 1 node 2 as well as micro kit is controller master node so all nodes are accessible from my virtual machine ansible server now we will install a role ansible role uh, so this is a, just an abstraction or a predefined modular code so you no need to rewrite the micro this code again so it somebody has already created the code so we can uh, reutilize that we can take a leverage of it okay so i will install ansible role so then i will deploy my kubernetes cluster on these three worker nodes okay one master and two worker nodes so let's go ahead and install ansible role so ansible galaxy install uh, istuano micro kits so uh, one guy is already created this role so we can just go ahead and install yeah so this is successfully installed uh, now we have to copy this uh, from host uh, now you can go to nano then you can create a file for example micro kits dot yaml uh, you can paste over here yeah that's it okay so you no need to change anything as of now everything uh, let's keep it as default uh, control o enter control x uh, now you can execute this script to do that use ansible playbook then you can specify the playbook name micro kit store yaml enter so that's it and now this will connect our master node as well as two worker nodes then it will install all the dependencies So we successfully completed. So let's verify once again. Let me go to my master node. Uh, let me refresh kubectl micro kubectl kubectl get nodes. So now you can see we have a three node is uh, up and running, right? All are ready. Uh, if you want, you can just execute kubectl. Okay, kubectl now it will not work. So we have to do some configuration for that. Uh, but still, we can use micro kubectl kubectl get pods. Uh, you can check your cube system namespace uh, whether do you have any uh, networking component or do you have a kubelet yeah so all we have over here right so now we successfully installed a micro kubernetes cluster by using ansible within two to three minutes